I'm Judy Williams. I work in interpreting services, and I'm going to show you how to use the VRI. VRI stands for Video Remote Interpreting. Uh, this is a laptop computer mounted to a cart. We have 10 of these devices in various locations throughout the hospital and off sites. When you have a patient who is deaf or hard of hearing, and you do not have an on-site interpreter available or you're waiting for the arrival of the interpreter, you may elect to um, communicate with your patient using this device. And this is how you do it. If the machine is off, you turn it on like any other hospital laptop and you log in uh, according to the directions here. All the things I'm about to tell you are on the computer, all the instructions. It's very simple. Once you've got the computer on, you'll be looking for this um, I'm sorry, this icon right here in the center, VRI Direct. It might be off to the side. If it is, you can drag it or move it out in the middle. Double click on the icon, which will launch the application. When this screen comes up, you have the option of specifying gender in this window, male or female, or you can just leave it at any. The only other screen uh, field that you will have to fill in is this one here, caller and patient full name. This is a free text field. We're only looking for your name, your unit, the patient name to help us track the call. For the purposes of this, I'm going to put in my name, patient name, and this is a test. If the department field is left empty, you can use this drop-down area to select your location. As you see, there's Crestwood Cancer Treatment Center, um, a number of them, but we're on the main campus. And then I'm going to click Search. As you can see, one other thing to show you in the language field, we've got American Sign Language chosen already. If you want to just demonstrate this for a coworker, you can choose Operator. But we are going to connect with an American Sign Language interpreter for this demo. Now I'm going to click the green search button, and it brings up four interpreters. You can choose any one. Maybe you are familiar with one in particular that you know you've done well with in the past, and if so, you can choose that one. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose this interpreter here. To connect, I'm going to click this green circle with a telephone in the middle of it. One thing about these units, you can raise them or lower them by squeezing these handles together. You can lower it for the patient if they're in bed, or you can raise it up. Once the interpreter is connected, you may need to adjust for lighting or sound. The, the interpreter can also give you some input as to whether or not he can see the patient. Again, if the patient is in bed, I'm going to lower this for the patient to see the interpreter, not me. And I'm going to stand beside this unit and speak directly to the patient. And then I'll pause while the interpreter voices what I say. And then at the end of my conversation with the patient, when I'm all done, I will disconnect. And thank you, interpreter. I'm going to disconnect by clicking this little red box right here. and then I X'd out of the program, and that's it.